You haven't found your way here by accident. It's a unique and meaningful connection meant to deliver the impactful message of Apostle Joshua Selman to your doorstep. This message carries the potential to not only bless you, but also inspire you for greatness. Open your heart wide and allow your mind to embrace the richness of this transformative message. Before we delve further, I extend a warm invitation for you to actively engage with this significant message. Join in by liking the video, sharing it with those in your circles who might find it beneficial, and subscribing to our channel for a consistent flow of insightful content. Your support is genuinely appreciated and plays a crucial role in our ability to... It's time to pray against the forces that sit on the destinies of men. Do not forbear with evil. Every time you forbear with evil, it multiplies. Every time you forbear with evil, it multiplies. I want to pray for you right now. For those in front here, I declare and declare supernatural impartations that this anointing that has come upon you, you will put it to good use for the glory of the name of Jesus. And everything that represents the attribute of the flesh, let it be cut away right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. If they can, once they are fine, they can return to their seat so that they clear the space for others. Now hear me. The Bible says, Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness and the sons of Jacob will possess their possessions. We believe and we teach the whole counsel of God including his desire to see his people free from every demonical influence that will not allow them to serve God acceptably. And it is based on this that I want to pray. Please listen to me. There are all kinds of oppressions and oppressions are at, at different levels. When the devil oppresses you, it does not negate the fact that you are a Christian. This is why he gave gifts. Paul was buffeted again and again. Are we together now? David was a man who had an evil spirit come, I mean Saul, an evil spirit come to torment him. Now I want to pray. Because there are people whose lives and destinies have been trapped. To rise up, they cannot rise up. To go forward, they cannot go forward. There are families that have been marking time. You know you are oppressed when the only thing growing in your life is your age. If the only thing growing is your age, nothing else growing. It's an oppression. I want to pray for you now. Hallelujah. God is giving me a very interesting instruction. Please hold on guys. Hallelujah. You see, when you are ministering, one of the things that we must learn is that you must discern the voice of God. Even while we minister, he's Lord over what we are doing. Hallelujah. In a very strange way, the Lord is asking me that we should just be silent and there are people who are oppressed. I'll ask them to resume. But right now, while we are standing here, the Lord, I'm going to speak Genesis 1, 2 to 4. And the moment I begin to pray, if for any reason there is someone under the sound of my voice who either personally or whose family has been under the influence of strange and wicked spirits, the moment I begin to pray, that fire from heaven will bring not only visitation but a separation. <laughs> now I want to pray. Listen to me. Here is the instruction God is giving me. There are two people who are going to shout loud under the anointing to the hearing of everybody. Now I can pray. I want you to bring them out. Father, I decree and declare everyone who is under the influence of any spirit other than the Christ, right now I decree and declare from the front to the back, from the left to the right, Makata Skatete Bakata. This is your season of liberty. Help them. Just help them so they don't injure themselves. Whether you are an usher or not, just help them and guide them forward. I really apologize, Pastor, having to bring people. Quickly, please bring them forward. Right now, I declare, at the count of three, the Lord is going to begin to minister deliverance and those yokes will start breaking. Please help them whether you are an usher or not. One. Two. Three, I decree and declare, be free now. Be free now. Be free now. 
The power of God is setting you free. Please bring them out, my goodness. Help them. Yokes of darkness, yokes of delay, all kinds of ordinances of darkness, tying down destinies. In the name of Jesus, be free. 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 Bring them out. Enough is enough by the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm seeing people's feet tied so that they don't move forward. But fire is coming right now. Everything that has tied your advancement. I decree and declare, let that chain be broken now. Let that chain be broken now. Go forward in the name of Jesus. Go forward in the name of Jesus. Go forward in the name of Jesus. There are some of you, even though you are in November, before the end of this year, everything God said he would give you, from January till November, within one month, I'm speaking it prophetically, it comes into your life. There are ministries here, you have experienced stagnation in different levels. You are sincere, you love the Lord, but it looks like an attack just came over your ministry. An attempt to frustrate the work. Right now I stand by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic. Every embargo sitting on any work here that should glorify Jesus. I declare that embargo lifted now. I'm seeing the number 25 and I'm seeing veils covering the eyes of the faces of those people. You see, when the favor of God is upon you, in the realm of the spirit, it shines your face as said from scripture. Everything that covers your face is hindering favor from your life and based on the integrity of scripture. I don't know where they are, but if there is anybody here. You once walked in a realm of favor, but now everybody forgets you. Every good person who can be there to be used by God to help you. You are connected to people who can be used by God. And yet you don't find them at times of help. I decree and declare, in the name of Jesus, may that veil be torn into pieces. Hear me. One of the graces that is upon this house, house on the rock especially, is the grace for influence. And there are many of you who are connected to this house, and yet that grace has not spoken over your life. I want to lend my voice with your pastor to release that grace afresh. You should not be doing something and you are hidden. It is called a house on a rock. Not a house inside a hole. No. No. Everything that has failed to find visibility in your life, please believe it. Whether it is your ministry, your work with God, your business, I decree and declare that by reason of this conference and in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God, I declare right now, find visibility. Yeah. Hallelujah. Let me pray for the sick. Please lay your hands right now. All those who are in front, I declare that every spirit that has oppressed you and would not let you go, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I speak as one sent. In the name of Jesus, let them go now. At the count of three, release their destinies never to return. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Out of their destinies. Out of their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Release their destinies right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Release them now. Release them now. Please lay your hands. I want to pray for the sick. 
As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit's gentle touch is flowing. Jesus, I Madam, this woman, lay your hands on your stomach. I'm seeing the power of God touch you. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands right now. Let the life of Jesus be ministered to your body right now. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, be healed completely. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. I have been a victim of oppression in the area of sickness. I know what it means. To receive a miracle you see let me tell you why the healing ministry is very important according to the law of territory if you do not sustain a healthy body you are not authorized to function in this realm are we together now so you need there is a requisite level of health that allows your spirit to coexist with your body if your body is deteriorated beyond a certain threshold, the spirit will have to leave. Are we together now? So every manifestation of sickness is an administration of death in process. This is why the healing ministry is powerful. It's not just about showing that a man of God is powerful. No. He sent them two by two and he gave them a commission. He said, as you go, preach saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand heal the sick cast out devils raise the dead freely you have received he says freely give lay your hands now believe jesus all those tumors all those growths don't forget about it you just focus on jesus i want to pray you are the house that is on a city the rock that cannot be hidden let me pray for this man Andrew, what do you do, sir? Public servant. I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray by the power that raised Christ from the dead. That everything that represents... What's the issue? Why is he crying? Please find out. Just someone politely find out from him. Your father has cancer. Just, just take it's okay it's okay just take it easy just take it easy you don't have to cry you're welcome that's why you came here we're going to pray he's crying because his father is a pastor and he has cancer very touching isn't it let me define compassion for you one of the principles of the flow of the anointing god will grant us another time to be able to teach on it is that you must sustain compassion compassion is the ability to be touched with the feelings of people's infirmity you have to be touched. That is why many times in your training process, you will often taste the things you would set people free from so that it emotionally connects you to that anointing. That every time you see people in that pain, you remember. You, you can draw from the archives. Pain is a gift. Not all pains are demonic. You cannot serve God acceptably until there is historically. It may not necessarily be God causing it. But he's a master at using everything around your life to become a tool to build you. Do not throw away your pain. Your pain is a gift that will become a gateway for the anointing to flow in your life. There is a level of innocence that does not allow the anointing flow. When you have gone through pain, you will know what it means to administer to those in pain. If everyone's face were covered in heaven, you will still know who Jesus is because he's the only one that carries the nails. You would think because he's seated at the right hand, everything should heal. It remains there as a testament that he is Savior, the one who died for our sins. Not even in heaven are the hands, everyone who has genuinely had an encounter with Jesus, they will tell you, you will know he's Jesus. Not just because the name is written on him, but you will see. That sacrifice remains a memorial forever. I want to pray. 
Andrew, God bless you. What do you do, sir? I'm working as a consultant to a company about to be the refinery. A, fine, a refinery. Do you believe if I pray for you, God can lift you? You believe that? There is a prophetic dimension to anything. It does not, it does not create, it is not a license for laziness. Now, this is the balance because many people in the body of Christ sometimes may not be diligent. They are just waiting for the prophetic to do everything. The prophetic comes and at, as an advantage. It is activated at the instance of diligence. Are we together now? Diligence is the platform that makes the prophetic efficient. So I want to pray for you. Please hold my hand. Stand up. Father, you have anointed us to bless. I release this grace upon this gentleman walk wonders through him right now by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus christ please come sir in the name of jesus i pray for you may the lord help you and show you mercy in jesus name i pray now please lay your hands let me pray for the sick like this my dear brother who is crying over his father you can stand in for him my friend don't worry don't feel stupid for crying I know that it's coming from a sincere heart. Many of you have lost loved ones and you know the pain. Let me tell you this. Sometimes when you see people like this, I thank God for this ministry because it's a ministry that is excellent and yet flexible enough to be able to attend to needs like this. Like him, believe God for a miracle. Shall we pray? I decree and declare right now that the healing power of Jesus now please listen here's what I want you to do I want to pray for you we'll do this in about a minute or two and some of you even whilst you came forward miracles were already happening I sense a very strong anointing you don't have to bring anyone under the anointing just help them when I pray for you, I want you to believe and shout a resounding amen. And then immediately I want you to check yourself. I want us to shame the devil in this house. Check yourself the moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you, whether you are inside or outside, even following online. Here's what I want you to do very quickly. I want you to make your way when I ask you to to come to either of the aisles here or here and even if it's just two or three testimonies we take to confirm the things that God is doing in the midst of his people is that all right now believe Jesus for a miracle and all of you who are watching from your homes you're watching anywhere and everywhere I want you to release your faith from every nation from Europe to US Africa here in Nigeria believe Jesus for a miracle right now in the name of Jesus Christ I rebuke the spirit that is back of every infirmity here represented and in the name that is above all names I decree and declare right now from the crown of your head my God such an anointing is flowing to the soles of your feet be healed now be healed now I administer the power of God to your body I command every growth dissolve now every swelling go down now every tumor disappear now migraine headaches be healed in Jesus name ulcers of all sorts be healed in Jesus name every blood condition I decree and declare be healed in Jesus name HIV be healed in Jesus name cancer be healed in Jesus name any and all bone conditions be healed in Jesus name if you are here on crutches you're here on a wheelchair I declare be healed in Jesus name every blind eye whether partially or completely blind be opened in the name of Jesus every deaf ear be opened in the name of Jesus pain lower abdominal pain the power of God is healing you right now in the name of Jesus 
there's something called tonsillitis there's someone you've been suffering this it comes and goes it comes and goes very inconveniencing right now as i'm praying for you the power of god is touching you in the name of jesus christ pile painful pile i decree and declare be healed now there's someone you have this inconveniencing pain under your foot just under very painful when you stand sometimes you have to break and check yourself i decree and declare be healed right now in jesus name it started for you like muzzle pull what we call what we know to be muzzle pull you know that that strain on on your 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 your, your lap area here but now it's, it seems it's degenerated to something very, very painful and serious. Affecting your walk. But in the name of Jesus, I declare right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Now, whether I mention your case or not. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. Here at Activate Conference 2021. I bring you the life and the healing power of Jesus. And for those of you who are standing in for your loved ones, like this, my brother here, I decree and declare wherever they are, across this nation and around the globe, may the angel of God's presence go with the healing power of Jesus to them. In the mighty and marvelous name of Jesus Christ, be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be cleansed in Jesus' name. Solare, and in the name of Jesus Christ first over house on the rock portacot extending to the body of Christ within this region I decree and declare that by the administration of the power of God everything dying or dead in your life I declare it comes back to life now Number two, every door that should open to the next level of your influence and your kingdom relevance that has been closed hitherto, help her please. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God, we open that door now. Number three, any man anointed and ordained in this season to hold your hands as a destiny helper and guide you whether spiritually whether financially and otherwise in the name that is above all names I activate their ministry over your life now number four I want to prophesy thing that has left your life that should not have left I stand by the voice of prophecy I call it back to your life I call it back to your destiny relationships opportunities open doors dimensions in the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for your prayer life whatever is threatening your relationship with God whatever is threatening your appetite for spiritual things your passion for prayer your passion for the study of the word your passion for the house of God I declare that limitation gets out of your life now fresh passion for the things of God fresh passion for prayer fresh passion for the study of the word fresh passion for the house of God in the name of Jesus and let me speak over your life that when men say that there is a casting down as from tonight for you let it be declared that it is a lifting up in the name of Jesus Christ and finally I pray for you because you have believed in the Lord and you have believed in this vessel because you have believed in Jesus and you have also believed in the grace upon your pastor hear me every dimension of power you came here trusting God for power against darkness power to rise above the vicissitudes of life I decree and declare let the impartation of that power from heaven 
rest upon your life now rest upon your destiny now rest upon your ministry now rest upon your endeavors now rest upon your business now rest upon your children now in the name of Jesus Christ finally everything that has refused to grow in your life because we were taught that one major characteristic of living things is that they grow whatever is alive should grow whatever has stopped growing in your life in the name of Jesus I command and I prophesy be it your finances be it your spiritual life I declare grow now grow now in the mighty and even the marvelous name of Jesus every closed door over your destiny by the power that raised Christ from the dead that door is open now that door is open now open for you and your children open for you and your wife open for you and your husband open for you and everyone connected to you in the name of Jesus number two Genesis 21 verse 6 this is someone's prophetic word I'm praying now 21 verse 6 Genesis Genesis 21 verse 6 and Sarah said God had made me to laugh so that all that here will laugh with me I decree and declare let this be a season of laughter for you let this be a season of laughter for you in the name of Jesus laughter in the morning laughter in the afternoon laughter in the evening laughter in the night in the name of Jesus you will love to sleep and laugh when you wake up in the name of Jesus and that night could not King Ahasuerus sleep and he said bring me the Chronicles and when they opened it they found where Mordecai saved him and was not rewarded anyone who should be a conduit for your reward in this season I pray may my God wake them and cause them to remember you wake them and cause them to remember you wake them and cause them to remember you in the name of Jesus when Nehemiah began to build the temple the wall of Jerusalem the Bible says there were two strange men that came to cause trouble to that project one Sambalat two Tobias I pray for you anyone spying on your progress and working with men and spirits to see that you don't advance to see that the promotion does not come to see that the rest does not come I decree and declare they are banished from your life forever banished from your life forever you see let me tell you there are certain men in the Bible who are not just men when you hear their names they speak of spirits Absalom Sambalat Tobias are we together you hear of all these names these are not names Haman you see that now these are people who they came into the lives of people and destroyed them Absalom for instance this guy began to gain popularity over a a period of years to a point that he convinced the advisor the, the, the advisor of David Absalom, I'm praying for you. Any person who wants to speak to the ears of your helpers to stop them from arising to help or continue what they started doing, may they never get to the ears of your helpers. If you are a king here and there is any Haman roaming around your palace, even if he's helping you for now, may God expose them. May God expose them. For the safety of your kingdom, may God expose them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Even though it later worked out for a redemption, but when that, that should be Pontius Pilate or Herod, one of them, 
wanting to crucify Jesus, the wife got up and said, I had a dream. This man is innocent. Don't touch him. Even though we know that it later worked out for the salvation, but let me pray for you. Any wrong step you are about to make, whoever needs to arise to be by your side to correct you so you do not make destiny destroying mistakes i pray may god bring them speedily may they come before the damage happens i say it again may they arrive before any damage happens in the name of jesus help will never come too late for you help will never come too late for you now I pray for you. The kind of honor you have not seen from January till now, May. If you have the faith to believe it, I lay my hands on my head and I pray for you. In this month of July beginning, may God surprise you. Kings will honor you. Nobles will honor you. Captains of industry will honor you. The great will call you great. In the name of Jesus Christ. Three more prayers and we're done. Three more prayers and we're done. Three more prayers and we're done. I want to pray that prayer of divine strategies for you again. This night as you go to sleep. Dreams that you've not had before. Visions of things you've not seen before. In the name of Jesus, the blueprint, the strategy for the next prophetic season of your life. May it be downloaded to your spirit man. Downloaded to your spirit man concerning ministry concerning business concerning family concerning your career the strategy for the next season receive it in the name of jesus do you believe what you're receiving let me forbid the spirit of death and then speak divine protection are we together our world is full of evil. It's everywhere. But the Bible says, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Let me pray for everyone here. Any car you will enter, where you will never return home again. Any aircraft you will enter, that will be the end of your life. Any journey you will take, that will not allow you to return home. I call upon the God of my covenant. Let it be stopped forever. I say it again, any car you will enter that will stop you from returning home, huh? anywhere you will go to that will mean the end of your life, may God give you discernment. We release angels to be on assignment in the name of Jesus Christ. You are preserved from the arrows that fly by day, the noisome pestilence, the destruction that wastes in noonday. I declare none shall come to your dwelling my final prayer for you right now is concerning your spiritual life that means your prayer life that means your word study life that means your passion for the things of God that means your character I pray for you by all means be as spiritual as you should be that means be as prayerful as you should be as word compliant as you should be as transformed as you should be men and women of character by the spirit doing exploits for the kingdom everything that represents slumber spiritual laziness laxity death of your prayer life your communion with God I declare be delivered from it now wave your hands and give Jesus praise we bless you, O oh God. We give you praise. We honor you. Thank you for your good hand. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hope has been so deferred. It's as if you cannot see God's faithfulness again. The Lord is asking me to speak to you, even now. He said, if you had come, your brother would not have died. He says, but even now, even now, even now, even now, I don't know who God is speaking to, You've been disappointed in circles, in series. But even now, I am still faithful. Take it as a prophetic word. 
God is telling someone even now concerning your business even now concerning your marriage even now concerning your job even now concerning ministry integrity still pays godliness still pays righteousness still pays do not think you gave yourself cheaply to life for standing on God's side even now I pray for every weary heart because you see there are people who are not sick physically but their spirits are broken and the Bible says a broken spirit can dry up the bones trouble can start from your spirit your mind and affect you physically you go to the hospital and no machine can diagnose you but you are dying I pray for such people be healed right now be healed from pain be healed from hurt be healed from disappointments I minister that healing to you by the Spirit of God in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen whilst you are seated stretch your hands towards this request stretch your hands and I want you to begin to pray in one minute father this is a manifestation a token representing my desire if you are here to drop your request please make it fast I'm about to pray I'm praying for someone there are not many times this song has come to my spirit but now the Lord is putting it in my spirit and I want you to listen to it it's not a special number hear me we serve a prayer answering God not just a prayer hearing God I decree and declare bowing my knees over these requests every request here represented and the many that have been sent online the many that are on someone's table probably on the ground in the name of Jesus Christ let there be speedy answers shout like you're a believer speedy answers in the name of Jesus Christ speedy answers in the name of Jesus therefore I declare unto you that the Egyptians you see today I stand upon this request prophetically the Egyptians you see today may you see them no more forever the same way I have stood upon your request no situation will rise above you I have seen evil that is under the Sun one time I was praying I was in a prayer and fasting program the first time I would encounter a spirit no I was not fasting then I was just praying and behind the place where there used to be a generator I turned there and I saw his spirit and he said get back that's what he told me and the next thing I just started praying in tongues what is this roaming around the earth the second time I was praying and I remember very clearly my 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 roof just disappeared my ceiling and here I'm seeing this spirit that looks like a dinosaur giant eyes looking like human eyes as big as a human head one of the eyeballs and it had a tail the tail had its own life you could detach it fuming with anger and he looked at me and said so you can you want to bring God's people you think you can bring God's people into abundance and that was the end of it after that encounter it was that the gates oh listen may may cause be upon me if I'm lying to you and I'm here to manipulate and deceive you I love you too much to waste your time let me tell you the truth before you think I'm wasting your time I want you to look at your life with sincerity and truth and you will know that you need this it's time to really take dominion if you are a man of God here or the call of God is upon your life please hear me because we are the ones who are most under attack in this season 
by reason of these altars and the patterns they create just answering the call and being anointed is not enough you don't know this your life and your relevance will be cut short in a way you will not be able to explain but one of the things i'm hoping today and next week will deal with i'm saying it again is the origin of mysterious infirmities blood conditions whatever it is genotype conditions please make sure you invite everybody you love it's time to walk in victory otherwise we'll keep quoting scripture and jumping up and down and our lives will not capture this can i tell you this hear me i made a vow and a covenant with god i said lord whatever it is that comes from my bloodline and my family i obtain grace even if it's for me to be the sacrifice that i will fight it with my life taking advantage of the victory that is in christ so that everyone that comes from me will enjoy that liberty someone may need to make that commitment and say lord my sincere parents my loved ones may have failed because they did not have knowledge but will you use me as that priest let me be that mediator between the old and the new someone rise up in one minute and begin to pray from the depth of your heart Someone pray. Please pray, please pray. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away Till there's no fear Let every other name fade away Let every other name fade away Jesus, take your place hear me I have prayed for a family where all of them mysteriously HIV just manifested in their lives like that like from father to children there was no history of that demonic thing but everybody like that I know people who are healthy and sound and fine about to get married they went to do blood tests and they suddenly found out that one person is hiv and the person said i can't there is no way this would have come medically certified when everything scatters they go back and check and you find out they are perfectly sound i like you to pray and say in the name of jesus christ say it say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that no power will contend with my authority i am a spirit with a mortal body i am a spirit that submits to the authority of jesus open your mouth and begin to declare i have dominion in the name of jesus over the realm of the air the realm of the sea someone is praying shabagata barate kate balaka to shoprondos ekrete ke barato sodo brenda kate balaka dia shakata praska de balaka ta Pray, something is happening. Pray, something is happening.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout it, say in the name of Jesus. I take my rightful place on earth as God's steward and I declare Holy Spirit I am in partnership with you every good thing that must manifest from heaven to my life I declare let it be so now lift your voice and begin to pray I take my place. I take my place. Every good and perfect gift assigned by God to find expression in my life. In this season, I declare, I take my rightful place as God's steward on earth. hallelujah hallelujah say in the name of jesus every system of authorization working against my life my family my destiny by the blood of the eternal covenant be silenced now open your mouth and pray be silenced be silenced be silenced shake it up katapa la katos emprekete katapa roskotopa be silenced in the name of jesus systems of authorization fighting your influence fighting your destiny hallelujah hallelujah now hear me this prayer you are about to pray many miracles are going to come out of it say in the name of jesus i declare that this body is the temple of the holy spirit Therefore, every sickness and infirmity in this body programmed to waste my life, I command, depart now. Open your mouth and pray. Depart. Fibroids. Depart. High blood pressure. Depart. Cancer. Depart. Someone pray. Tumors, growths, depart. Belakatosh Kadila Pariata. Blood conditions, depart. Shagata Bagata Bagatos Kate. Embre de Gabaruso Sega de Balatos. hallelujah in the name of jesus say in the name of jesus i declare from today that i have a covenant of longevity my body will never separate from my spirit until my time is done every premature separation either by accident, by sickness, by the activity of wicked people. I cause it right now. Go ahead and pray. No premature separation coming in the form of accidents. hallelujah in the name of jesus 
please don't be distracted jeremiah 22 29 please give it to us quickly jeremiah 22 verse 29 it says "O earth 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 hear ye O earth 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 it says hear ye the word of the lord the earth is a universal point of contact the bible says as for the earth out of it comes bread it says the profit of the earth is for all and even the king is fed by that which comes from the earth i'd like you to pray say in the name of jesus my portion given to me by god i decree and declare through the ministry of men let it gravitate towards my destiny open your mouth and pray god is a god of portions god is a god of portions pray god is a god of portions I am confident that the sermons you've immersed yourself in have served as a wellspring of blessings, uplifting your life and instilling a profound commitment to wholeheartedly serve God. We extend a warm invitation for you to become a subscriber to our YouTube channel. By activating the notification bell, you ensure that you remain connected and never miss any of our upcoming videos. Your subscription signifies more than a mere click. It represents a pledge to continual spiritual growth enlightenment and empowerment embark on this faith-filled journey with us as our channel aspires to be a haven for both spiritual seekers and devoted believers we ardently believe in the transformative power of god's word and our objective is to share messages that deeply resonate with your soul join our community subscribe and allow the radiant light of divine wisdom to illuminate your path we express our gratitude for your integral role in this uplifting journey, and we pray that God's abundant blessings overflow in your life. Amen. Stay connected with us on all our social media platforms at Flaming Channel, and feel free to explore our website at www.flamingchannel.com. Thank you, and may God abundantly bless you.